I'm Martha Capello. I'm the Newtown manager here at Berwick. I'm excited to be part of it and I appreciate the opportunity. When all these buildings are finished, it's gonna be a huge asset to the downtown community with storefronts on the bottom floor, apartments above. One of the things about Berwick is that it's, it's a growing community but it's still keeping its rural character, which is nice. Not a lot of communities can grow like this and keep the rural character. That's a testament to the planning board, to the board of selectmen, and all the staff here, because they've worked with the developers to develop the downtown area, but keep that rural look. I can remember when I first moved up here, coming through town, it was pretty vacant. It was pretty empty. Uh, it was somewhat run down. That has changed a lot and it's going to be continue to change the new sidewalks, utilities being buried with the architectural design and, and the fact that the new is going to be a huge improvement for the downtown. Why don't we take a ride and get a grip on everything that's happening in this town? The one thing about Berwick is the amount of agricultural and the amount of values that it brings. And one of the values that agricultural brings is hard work. In order to work a farm, whether it's a dairy farm, cattle farm, vegetable farm, it's a lot of hard work. It instills such a work ethic. One of the things that I see a lot of pe in people here in Berwick, people are willing to work, which is a nice change because you don't always see that. And I think a lot of that has to do with the agricultural background of the community. I've been in several over 55 developments, and I gotta tell you, this is by far the nicest one that I've ever been in. I've been in some in New Hampshire, I've been in some in Vermont. The houses are just beautiful. They're good size inside. It's either copper or hardwood. They look like they're pretty easy to maintain. And the best part is Berwick is such an up and coming town. Taking care of its older population with the over 55 housing. And it's, it's really nice housing. It's amazing. Bringing in more people and kids is going to put more of a tax on your school system, your police and fire. But the one thing that Berwick has done, which will help with that, is they implemented what's called an impact fee. So basically when people build stuff, there's a fee that they have to use in order to get to the permit and that goes into a special account. And that, if right now, most of it goes to help with the rec department, but that could be repurposed to help offset some of the additional costs for fire department, police department. But you're also increasing your tax base. Family of four may isn't gonna require a new fire person or a new police person. 10 or 12 families, then yes, but you also have that tax base from that 10 or 12 families to help offset the cost. So you may increase the population by 10,000, but you're going to increase your tax base probably by about 70, $80,000 a year, if not more, because of the commercial down on the first floor. On the first floor. So I think it's a balancing act. It's bringing in the population in a responsible way phasing it in like we're doing. I've already started having conversation with the police chief and fire chief when those apartments are done across the street. What are we looking at so that we can plan for that? So it's it's being responsible in your planning that will help offset any increases. A nice part about this development is it's a developer that wants to be here. He's coming in, he did this building, he's doing these buildings and he's staying. He's not leaving. So it's not a developer that's coming in just to make a quick buck and then flipping it around. We're walking down Sullivan Street. If you look above us, you'll see all the power lines and utility lines. The plan is to bury all of those underground. One of the things I'd like to look at first, and you may be getting some benches along the sidewalk for people as they're walking to have a seat, especially as uh, the population grows older. Plus, it gives the people an opportunity if they want to grab a sandwich in one of the restaurants, come out, sit on the bench, and eat outside rather than sitting inside on a beautiful day. We live in New England. We don't often we get a lot of beautiful days, so we want to be able to take advantage of them while we can. And I'll give James, the previous town manager, now the um, planning director, community development director, a lot of credit because without the work that he did getting the grants for that, the town wouldn't be able to afford to do that. He's done a tremendous job in getting grants that allows us to work on the downtown area and make it more aesthetically pleasing make it more user-friendly, which will bring people into the town, not only to live, but to come visit the town. And that's what you want to help your economic development. The main source of power for a lot of the a lot of the towns way back when is they run it off the river. The bridge over uh, at the light there, I saw some people fishing off the bridge. That just, I'll be honest, it warms my heart to see people using the resources that we have. There's trails in Berwick that you can hike that are pretty easy. 
So all those natural resources, like the river, the, the water, the fish, and the bridge, the trails, that makes Berwick such an up-and-coming and wonderful community. I want to thank everybody for the time that they are taking to watch this. Um, my name is Arthur Capello. I'm the new town manager here in Berwick. I just started at the beginning of July. It's a wonderful up and coming town. I am so looking forward to my time here. You'll always get a response and get an answer from me. It may not be an answer you like, but you'll get an answer. This is the town manager's report for July. I can be contacted at the phone number and email address below. Feel free to reach out anytime. Thank you. Uh -huh.